Yes. Uh, hi, uh, this is uh, Rusty. Um, I'm going to do a uh, quick video on uh, how to terminate a uh, Singar's power cable, th uh, 13 uh, 302. Uh, this is a six foot, looks like. Um, same can be done, uh, like this one here. I've already completed. Uh, it can be done with a uh, uh, three foot power cable. Um, either the three foot or a six foot uh, is required uh, to interface with the sear, the Medusa cable, uh, or the single leg. Uh, both these are part of uh, the Oshkosh trucks, um, and that's how auxiliary power is provided through uh, CV7 and 8. So um, let's get started. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, remove the ring terminals from the Singar's power cable. Um, use a pair of side cutters. I'm using a pair of strippers because that's the next step. Uh, so, uh, cut the ring terminals off. They're not used. The next thing I want to do is strip about a quarter inch of insulation from the pairs of wire. Both the uh, black and the red. So, the next thing I want to do uh, is put a seal. Uh, this one here uh, can be ordered with uh, with the terminals. Um, I like to go ahead and put them both on. The reason for that is, and let me just see if I can get a close up, show you orientation of this and alignment. Um, essentially, what you want to do uh, is ensure that the the seals are placed uh, with the narrow end pointing. Narrow, the narrow end of the seal uh, toward the bare conductor, and the small end of the seal is also flush with the end of the insulation. The next thing you want to do is uh, take your uh, your terminal, and uh, you can see here uh, the terminal that we're using is a 16, uh, 14, 16 gauge crimper uh, crimp. Terminal and uh, there's there's two crimp openings. One is uh, for the seal and the conductor. I mean the seal and the uh, insulation, and the other is for the conductor alone. And I'm going to use two different sets of crimps. Uh, the first one, I mean, you can probably get away with, uh, although not recommended. You can probably get away with fair needle nose. Uh, but I'm going to use uh, uh, what you call single step. I'm going to do one, and then I'm going to demonstrate using a two-step crimper. But essentially, I'm going to take this and uh, crimp it just like that, and then I'll see if I can get a close-up on this. Um, essentially, show how this is done. And uh, if someone wants a, 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 a still photo of what it looks like, uh, I can provide that. Um, but essentially, uh, that's how it's done. And uh, the other one uh, can be done the same way. Uh, I'm just going to demonstrate this using a, uh, a two-step. The reason for that is just so I, I you know, just demonstrate the, the two separate ways these are done. Uh, this is a, a basic uh, Y-type uh, crimp tool, and I'm just going to line this up. I mean, with the, with the W, I mean, it's a W crimper, and line it up, and Okay. Also have something uh, you can get these as well. This is a uh, provides a place to do the terminals and for the contacts and also crimp the um, crimp the seals and uh, so I'm gonna spread out a little bit. But we'll go ahead and put that on there anyway. Okay. And essentially get that in the crimp opening. Wow. 
wind it up and boom, crimp to seal. So essentially two two different crimps, uh, one for the one for the contact and uh, one for the seal. Uh, next thing we want to do uh, is put the housing on. And essentially what you do is you take the housing facing facing the round ends, the uh, round opening, and you're going to insert the put the clip down facing the the round openings. Uh, the clip assembly, you can see the clip here, uh, facing down, and you want to insert the red wire on the right side into opening marked A, uh, and then we're going to put the black in the opening marked B, and push it into a clicks, take one of the seals, push it in between the wires, push it onto a connector. Housing and ta-da, done. Real easy process there. I uh, have any questions? Oh, just a real quick. We can uh, show how that's uh, how that is connected to the Medusa cable, just like so. And you see the Medusa cable has a seal and uh, uh, it has a seal. I mean, the lock and uh, the housing. There's also some seals there. They're a little bit difficult to work with. Um, they have to be re opened, removed, and then you trim trim them off. I recommend just getting the getting the blue ones a lot faster than having to cut around on those. They're only about ten cents a piece through uh, DLA. But thank you. Have any questions? You can email me. I uh, appreciate your patience and uh, me fumbling through this. Again, it's Rusty. Uh, you can email me uh, with any questions. Thanks.